Okay, did it work? Look now what I call touch FM. Now it's a song. Man come to bed of fun with them a bong. Man come to bed of fun with them a bong. Man come to bed of fun with them a bong. I mean, yeah, cool, son, then. For those that do not speak it, if I can just touch the arm of his garment, that's what the song says, you know, I'll receive my healing. So we're looking at touch. Of course, there's a very popular hymn, it touched me and made me, and made me whole. You know, of course, Touch FM is a, is a radio station in Namibia. Uh, but I use that because uh, if you look at Luke writing in Acts chapter 7, verse 27, uh, he was talking about touch that they should seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him, which is about the sense of touch and find him, no, though he be not far from every one of us. One of the ways in which you can actually determine the variety of things is by actually touching. So we touch it and then we know that it's real, you know, and the scriptures actually encourage us to do this also in terms of the way uh, seeking after God, because there's a way in which you can touch and feel him I really know that he's real. Like in the case of, uh, you know, Thomas, I was doubting. He had to put his hands, you know, the nail prints, and then he believed. You know, this is also captured in the in Paul's writing to the Romans in one twenty. For the invisible things, or being from the creation of the world that you seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and God, so that they're without excuse. If you really are a sincere seeker of the truth, you come to see that God is real. I mean. Just looking at the entirety of the universe, all the kinds of things that are still being discovered, shows you that these things will not have just come into existence by themselves. All of it are pointers to God. So you can actually feel after him, you know, you can touch him. And this is also, if this podcast is also another way of making us come to that realization that if we really want to sincerely seek the Lord, you can, you know, make that commitment to Christ. And you really see that, you know, uh, the God that we're talking about is real. And it will make a world of difference in your life. Make that commitment today and you will not regret it.